Hey, 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 everybody. How you guys doing today? It is a beautiful day in the country. I've worked on this cabin steady for the last, well, almost month. It's pretty much finished. It's time to get loaded today. Let the games begin. So on a serious note, anybody that saw the last video on it where we spent the night in it, a um, little embarrassed that video was kind of poor quality. I'm sorry guys, I'm going to do a lot better, but then it was kind of boring. Anyways, check her out guys. Metal roof is on. The ridge cap is on the whole way across the top. This thing, other than flooring, I haven't done the flooring in it yet. Um, again, nice to see the metal roof on. Attractive little building. People love this thing. When they stop and see this thing in the way by, they love this place. Anyways, a new development here. The lightning's kind of screwy today. A new development here. Um, we went and decided to get another trailer. That was the trailer over here that we were originally going to use. We got another trailer here. And this trailer is a dedicated trailer that we're going to actually use to mount it on. What it was initially... Somebody had this thing custom built to put an ATV in the back that way and one ATV this way. They had a ramp on both sides and what you do, you drive the bike on this side and off the other. Anyways, we got a real good deal in this trailer. It's a nice trailer. It's got like a 3,500 pound axle in it. And the best part of this one is two feet longer. That one over there, if I had to put it on it, the cabin was going to just sit flush and the roof would have actually overhung the back. Because the cabin is 10 feet, the roof is 12. This one here, bonus to 12 foot trailer. So when the cabin is on, it's going to stop about here. We're going to have a little patio in the back. So how much nicer is that going to be? So today's plan and today's goal is this thing is going to be loaded on the trailer. So what we got to do is, my wonderful assistant Cindy here, I've got this pile of blocking here. A good friend of mine here runs a local excavating business, Byron Excavating. I'd put a shout out to him big time. Gave me all these old 6 by 6 and blocking. And what the plan for me is going to be to do, I'm going to get under the edge of this thing. She's 10 feet long here at the base. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back about 4 feet from the front. So I'm not right at the balance point. And I'm, we're going to jack it up a little bit. We're going to put a crib under the front. Then I'm going to go around to the back. And we're going to put a crib under the back. And what I'm going to do is, that way I'll have at least 3.5 feet or so of overhang on the front of the crib. Once I get her up, it's going to take about 20 inches in the air. We're going to back the trailer in underneath this thing with the truck. And then I've got a doodad that we bought actually yesterday at Princess Auto. It's a hitch adapter thing that's going to go into the trailer hitch of the truck here. And it's a double. There's a lower for your receiver and an upper coupler. We're going to have a secondary ball on that trailer so I can actually put my winch. I got that 12 volt winch. Anybody saw the videos of me pulling this thing out of the garage? I got the 12 volt winch and we're actually going to hook the 12 volt winch under there. We're going to put a snatch block on this trailer here. And once we get the trailer again in under to the first set of cribs, what I'm going to have to do, and this all seems to make a way work in my head, I'm hoping this could be a disaster. Um, when I get into the first set of cribs in here, then I'm going to have to jack it up and then the trailer is going to have to take the weight. And then what I'm going to do, and this sounds silly, I'm going to literally have to put the truck in neutral and literally let it pull itself back under the cabin. And I got to be very careful because if something hitched up, I could pull the cabin ahead off of that rear crib. Only going to be 20 inches in the air, so I'm not all stressed out. It's not like we're jacking this thing up to put it in the back of my truck. And a lot of people think it's going to sit in the back of the truck the way they see the sides, the way I designed this. But anyway, going to start getting the cribbing out and getting this thing up in the air. So if you uh, want to watch and see what kind of turnout this is, hang around. Put it on in a little more because I think this is not under the... Uh... Yeah, I should get under the... Uh... Before I go high, go under that other skid over there, if you would, with this block to get it up. Go sideways the other way. Yeah, in and out. Okay. Yes? So close. <laughs> I got to go a little more. Got to go a little more. I just got to be careful where I lift on this, that's all. Don't ever put your fingers between the block and the in case it ever dropped. I mean, this thing is lifting quite easy, guys. It's not that heavy. I know this building is not that heavy. Thank you. Well, 
You just hook it to that even, right? All right, the first crib is in place. That's where it's going to sit. So I'm going to sit the cabin down on it. There we go. Now a little trickier, I gotta go back to the other end here. We gotta get it up in the air that I can get the jack under it and start jacking it up. So it shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna go under the side here. We're gonna tilt it, block it, and then I can get under the back here. Same thing, very heavy. It's gotta go a bit higher, a little bit higher. I want it almost to the back. Oh, it's still under? Okay. Give her some more of the nails sticking on this guy. Nice stuff, eh? Slowly going up, slowly let her down. There we go. No problem so far, but the fun is just beginning. Um, sun's coming out, beautiful freaking day here. My wonderful assistant, Cindy, she thinks we should have hired a shed moving company to put this up on here, but Maybe I should have. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, here we go again, guys. I'm gonna put the second row of crib in under this end. Take her up. Almost get a piece under there already. We gotta go up. All right, let's take her up a little more. Can't go anywhere, right? It's pretty much secure. All right, we got two sets of cribs in. Jack's pulling a nice wheelie here, so time to let her down slow. Let me down easy. Well, that was uneventful. There she is. All right, we're back at the other end here. Time to take this up. It's going pretty good so far. I just have to be real careful that nothing slips here. And again, we only have to get up about 20 inches in the air. We're not going that high with this. So I just have to be really careful. Is that high enough? All right. That's enough. Oh yeah, that just fits. Yeah. Just fits. Know if you guys can hear the cardinal in the background going. They are some noisy fellers. Let this end down. We're getting up there. Nice and slow. Wow. Look at that. We're getting her up there slowly. Not looking too bad so far. Take the track the front up one more time and we can almost get the trailer in close here and see the way this thing's gonna line up. So let's keep going here. She's going pretty smooth. Well, she's going good so far. We got the front pretty well high enough. We're not gonna take the back any higher. When I start to jack the front, it wants to tilt to the back, wants to tilt to the front, because I'm trying to go quite a bit each time. I should probably take a little less on each bite. But as you can see, we've got this thing uh, pretty well elevated off the ground. There's a the trailer, so. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to unhook the trailer off the truck, back it in under, make sure it's nice and centered until it hits, which is going to be ahead of that blocking. Then I basically have to hook the winch on here. We're going to get that doodad all hooked up and then hopefully we're going to winch this thing on somehow without that back crib falling over on me. That's going to be the trick here. This thing's kind of cool. Anybody hasn't seen one of these, they call it a hitch extension, and it's actually a double hitch thing, I guess you'd call it, that 
you take your receiver out, you put this bad boy in, you put the ball on here, and I'm going to have a second receiver to put my winch on. So that's kind of convenient. Put that in there. It's not going to go anywhere. This is going to have to go in here uh, for that one. And then I've got to get one more to put my winch on. And I got another one inside here. Here you go, and your other receiver is in here. And this is what my winch is going to go on. So, pretty neat setup if you ask me. I'm not going to put this one in until we get the trailer all hooked up. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, guys. That's hooked on. Now, what I got to do is put my other receiver in. And we're going to put the winch on because it's almost time. Time to get this shell on the road. And here's the winch. How cool is that? And I can't go anywhere. And here's the cable. So this has to go. I'm going to run that cable all the way down there because I've got a snatch block. I mean, I just know what a snatch block is. It's a pulley, so it doubles the force. So I've got to go get that now. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, time to put my snatch block on here. So I have to get the cable through it. And then that's my big snatch block. And then we're going to run the cable through it. And we're going to use the clevis to lock it here. This way. This is really awkward to do with one hand. And so is this, but she'll hold. There we go. There, so that can pull on that. Anybody that understands how that works and the winch, the other cable goes back to the winch again, and then you basically double your pulling force with that snatch block, right? So time to hook it on the winch. <laughs> Not the best lighting out here today, but we're going to bring the cable back up now. We're going to bring the cable hook it right onto here. Well, here we go. Tensions are mounting. We have the winch is on here. Snatch block is on the building and it's basically ready to drag on so what I'm gonna do now and we got soapy water we're gonna soap this deck we're gonna soap this deck all down of this I'm gonna jack it up take that blocking out there the first row and I'm gonna sit her down on the trailer and then we're gonna try to winch and then what I'm gonna do this sounds real silly here's hoping this works I'm gonna put the truck in neutral and I'm hoping that the winch pulls everything back and underneath before I pull it off the blocking. So that's kind of the game here. So hang around. This is where it could get really good or really bad. Well, it's getting pretty tense here, guys. We have the back of it now. We took the front row blocking. So this is sitting right on the trailer right now. So what I'm going to do is put some soap and wet the deck down on this thing. And we're going to hopefully we're going to winch it on here soon. What I want is the winch to pull the trailer under it. Possibly. I want it to pull the trailer right underneath. So go around the back there. Get her a little wetter. Through the middle, I guess, too. Soapy water for the wind. And if this winch has any power at all, we should have no problem pulling this on. So have no problem skidding this on. With the snatch block, I should have about 6,000 pounds of pull. All right, guys, I'm gonna tension this thing up. I'm gonna actually stand back just a little bit, <laughs> just in case. Let's see what happens here. Watch this. Honest to God. Going right under. It's working. It is working exactly as I planned it. Seriously. Cindy's laughing. 
Sometimes I tell her, you got to have more faith in me, girl. you got to have more faith in me. This thing is actually going on well. Watch this. I'll get down a little closer. You guys can watch up close to it sliding on the trailer. And the best part is doing exactly what I said. It's pulling the truck and trailer backwards. This is a half-dead battery I have, by the way. I'm not pulling. I'm not stressing the front wall. Did you ever doubt me? She's standing here just smiling. <laughs> I should never doubt her. She should never doubt me. She never. realizes that by now. This is working so cool. You guys got to watch this to believe it. The trailer is slowly moving backwards with the truck. Watch this. It's pulling it on, but it's actually pulling the trailer backwards. Honest to God. Why would she ever doubt me? <laughs> Watch this. That battery's not sounding very good. We're going to have to get another battery, I think. Whew, I had to put the floor jack under the middle of the back to take the strain, but we're winning the battle here now. The jack tilting? Yeah. Okay, I got to move the jack ahead, guys. Here we go again. Well, here we go. I kind of used my head there for a minute and I put the jack under the back of the trailer now. So now it's time to just finish this thing. Let's put her on. It's got a whole lot easier for some reason. There she goes. There's the face of doubt right there. That's what the face, I need to get closer. This is what the face of doubt looks like. She's kind of cute, eh? Let's finish this thing up, guys. We got four feet to go. Not even. Three feet. Can't believe that battery's holding out. This is a half dead battery I'm using. guys well there you go check this out guys it's on there man oh man it's on there. There you go, guys. One thing, one thing I'm gonna have to get is a drop hitch to the truck. Probably drop it three inches because you can see where the leg is. You can see the clearance under my leg right now. There's probably two inches. That will basically bring it down so the trailer's sitting level. You don't wanna tow anything tilted back so the trailer the uh, hitch has to drop down a bit but she's on there uneventful it was actually quite easy to do uh, the winch pulled it on considering I was using a half dead battery so there she is all ready to fly got to put some tie downs on it and all that get her all fastened down and this thing is gonna be ready to use so it's gonna be pretty neat the lighting is terrible there you go hope you guys like videos like this and like and subscribe and share the videos and all that and we're gonna get this thing rolling on the road real soon We'll talk to you guys very soon. Live simply, remain grateful.